welcome back to my channel and of course with me again hello everybody yes <laughs> okay so today before we mm -hmm. proceed with this video i just want to commend my beautiful wife you see how beautiful you are <laughs> uh, because of my hair not only your hair everything about you is beautiful Maybe he needs Suya. You want Suya? <laughs> Today, we will talk about, you know, there are some things here in Nigeria that I really find it unusual or somehow weird. That's why I asked my husband to vlog with me so that he can explain it more. Because for sure, he can explain it better than me because he's the Nigerian, right? Yes. <laughs> The okay. first one is taking anything using your left hand. Well, I learned this one from my husband. And the first time I learned this one was when we were in the embassy, Nigerian embassy in other country. That, that was the first time I came here in Nigeria and I was applying for a visa. Then I gave something to the consul and I used my left hand. Well, the, the consul didn't see it, but after that one, my husband, <laughs> my husband, did this call me or you just... No, I, I, just, uh, I just advise you, mm. next time, use your right hand, don't use left hand. Because, you know, here in Nigeria, or maybe Africa at large, using your left hand to give somebody something or to receive, it's like an insult and also bad luck. Bad luck. So you don't use left hand to deliver something or to pass something to someone else. As in anything. Anything, anybody anything, at all. Especially money. Yes. Especially money. Even receiving. Because don't receive in your, with your left hand, right? Yeah. From the from our ancestors, they were the ones that discovered that because you use your left hand to give people something, mostly money. Throughout that week, that person will lack more. It will be very difficult for the person to make money. So that's why here in Nigeria, we are too conscious of giving money with left hand. And another thing, if the person that is giving you money with left hand is not happy about the money he's giving you, he will just carelessly pass the money to you with left hand, which also part of the insult. Yes. Okay, that's why actually I am so conscious in giving and receiving money, especially if my husband is with me. Sometimes if he asks me to give something to him, to pass something to him, and I am rushing, once I notice that I'm giving it to him using my left hand, I will transfer it to my right hand and, and give it to him. So I'm very, very much conscious about that. So they believe already. everything right and is right. It's good. The next one is cutting off dreadlocks. You know, there are some people here in Nigeria and also in other African countries that they have a natural, naturally dread on their, on their hair. So now they have a custom regarding cutting off dreadlocks. Yes, dreadlocks here is natural. It's never man-made. So, I'm, I'm a typical example. Yes, you was. Yes, I was there. Uh, I have a Not anymore. when I was growing up. So, he was born with dreadlocks. Yes. People with dreadlock always get sick. That's their belief. Not so, not, not it belief. It really happens. It happens, yes. Dreadlock okay. is a very complicated issue in Nigeria, mostly in Igbo land. We believe that having dreadlock it has something with spiritual aspect of uh, life. So, before you can cut a dreadlock from a child or even an adult, you must perform some traditions yes. and you must take permission from that child or from the person to have that dreadlock. It's not something you just grab the the boy or the girl cut and cut the, yeah, the, I, the, I, the, remember, the person will die. I remember there was a time that we went to Night Mine. We saw a 
child a boy having that dreadlocks and he told me that I can't just hold yes, his hair without not. asking permission you, from him. You cannot. Once you try that, we are, we are going to make that child see. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's why it is it has a spiritual aspect of it. Okay. Because just like when you see a child with red blood, you just you go and touch it. Mm -hmm. Within 30 minutes, that child will start to be sick. Mm -hmm. Yes. But what until, happened to you now when you no, were no, wait. Until the parents of that child will ask that child, did anybody touch your hair? The child will now reveal, yes. So somebody, what they will do? They will go and complain to the family of the person that touched the hair. They will contribute money. They have to, yes, call other children, create a party. Oh. <laughs> yes, to appease that hair. And once they Be finish that, that uh, rituals, it's in form of rituals. But not a negative uh, ritual, it's just so, to, to cleanse that uh, spirit. You know? Okay, so be careful before you create expenses for yourself. Yes. <laughs> the next thing you will have a children's party. But what did they do to you when they cut your dreadlock? During my time of dreadlock, I was always sick. I sick. I got sick until my mom was confused you know, on what to do. Because every, almost every day I was getting sick until finally my my mom my my parents they decided to perform the rituals to cut off the, the dress. So they asked me things that I like for them to buy from me as oh, a gift. They need to give you a gift. Must. Right? Is <laughs> a must. Sorry. To please the child. Yes. They bought me a toy car. They and then they cook. They. Yeah, they, they, they called a DJ, they cooked <laughs> rice, bought a crate of minerals and the beer, invited ch mostly children. So everybody was, everybody came, the record was playing and people were dancing, enjoying themselves. So after that, the elderly person in that family will now come, make a prayer before your father will now Cut. Okay, so it's, it was that mm -hmm. cut your dress. Okay, okay. But you know, um, is it not uh, inheritance? You can inherit it, right? It, it runs in the blood. Mm -hmm. mm. It, it is in the gene of a lot of people here. Okay, but you know, uh, in my country, there are people those uh, how do you call this one? That like Bob Marley thing, Rasta. Mm, Rasta, <laughs> Rasta, 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 Rasta. So. Um, they don't have the natural, natural thread, so they will make it. Some of them, if it's already long, they will even sell it. Even here in Nigeria, you can buy, you can buy thread if you want to attach it to your, to your own thread or to your own hair, right? Yeah, but actually now people are creating it. They use uh, what they call wax. The next one is whistling at night. So here you have to avoid whistling at night. Why? Yeah. Whistling at night in Nigeria is a very delicate uh, practice. You don't whistle at night because here it is widely believed that once you whistle at night, you are inviting spirits. So nobody wants to invite uh, spirits. Of course not. Uh, uh, so here we are conscious of that also. We don't do that uh, mostly at night. Okay. Yeah, another one that this one I really learned, okay? But for Filipinos, we are very happy if we see this kind of thing. <laughs> okay, you can take money from the ground. I mean, if you're walking and you'll see money in the ground, on the floor, okay? You can take it, right? Yes. It's not allowed. You dare not do that. You know, before, it was raining in Nigeria here. A lot of bad people, what they do was they go to native doctors and uh, yeah, do rituals with the money. Once they come out to the streets, mostly the busy side of the you know, road, they will drop their money. Accident, they will act as if the money is, was dropped accidentally. But they intentionally drop that money because they want to you know, catch somebody. So if you are a child that is not disciplined, or an adult, because a lot of adults also felt victim of that. 
If you are not disciplined enough not to pick money on the road, once you pick that money, either you turn to chicken, <laughs> tortoise, or all these smaller animals. And then, while you are turning to those animals, the person who dropped the money is somewhere watching you. Yes, immediately the person finish touch, turning to that animal they want him to turn. You see the person walk, pick up that animal and put it inside. Well, what's the, what the person will do to the animal? Of, of course, once they reach to their coven, their chamber. What I mean by chamber to is the to, to their, uh, to their okay. shrine. Mm -hmm. They will now revoke the person back to a human being. They will now use the person to do whatever rituals they want. Oh. Mostly it's for money rituals. Money rituals. Okay. Rituals yeah. that attract money. But you know in the Philippines, if you see money on the floor, you will feel like you're so lucky because you suddenly see money on the floor. So there was a time, we were in Puerto Galera, right? We were walking along the beach and it was night and you know in Puerto Galera they have these uh, beach parties so we were walking and there's a lot of people actually and I saw money and that money was like I saw one 1500 uh, bills so it's quite big so my husband told me don't pick it um, I was like mm -hmm, we're not in Nigeria <laughs> so what I did I didn't pick the money but I told the guy who's selling taho, right? Who's selling there's a food that we call taho in my country. That um, I told him that manom there's a money, so he he pick it up, okay? Because you know now I'm married to Nigerian, so I can I can't do that. <laughs> okay, another one is using mirror in the market. You know the first time I heard this one was from his younger cousin as in very young he was she was still a child that time and she told me because that she time I, yeah because i was using mirror uh, but I, where was it in the market so i was using mirror and then she told me that uh, auntie you know what if you're in the market you can use mirror because you will see ghosts uh they're not also allowed to I bend, bend down. I don't know why. It's inside the market. You don't bend down. This is there's a lot of ghosts in the market. That's what they told me. Everywhere. Here, our ancestors taught us that once you are in a crowded place and you you bend down, look to, to under your two legs, mm. you will see some legs behind that is floating, that, that is not touching the ground. Those ones are ghosts. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I never tried because I, I don't want to see a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe that and growing up with such uh, beliefs, I, I never care to try. Mm. Yes. And of course, the last one. This is funny. <laughs> the last one, this says that here, if you are getting thin, hmm? if you are getting thin, it means <laughs> Like me, if I actually I got thin. If you will check my previous vlog, I was fat. <laughs> so when I got thin, you know what mommy told me? Mm. She says that she doesn't like my, my body. I mean my my mother-in-law. She says she doesn't like it. So I was like, why? Why? Why you don't like it? You know, if you are fat, fatness comes with sickness. So I explained that to her, and she told me that no, you know, if you are thin and you go back to your country. Your family might think that your husband is not taking good care of you. Yes. Yes, here in Nigeria, everybody likes uh, fatty fatty. Everybody so wants the to diet be... is not allowed here. <laughs> yeah, because here they eat a lot. Mm. And they believe that once your wife is thin, that means you are not feeling her well. Even the so, man, if the man is not, is not fat. <laughs> if the man is not uh, fat, no, let me not use the word fat, as in big enough to their own expectations. The wife is not that means <laughs> the wife is not cooking good food mm. for, for him. So, but that's not true. This is a jet age. Yes, we are no. in the 21st century, which everybody have to be smart. You have to think smart. Now, you know, in their own generation, 
they were they weren't aware of uh, health uh, what causes health issues but in this our own generation is a very smart generation we are aware that too much of you know food can cause you a problem it's not really enjoyment yeah so you have to limit whatever you eat and let your lungs and your kidney function you know but properly. i'll tell you something um, there was a time that my husband was asking me eat 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 that was a time we're getting married so we're having our church wedding and my family are coming uh, to attend the, so, the event usually in the philippines if you're getting married and you're a bride the first thing you have to do is to diet because you want to look sexy you you want to look good you want your wedding gown to fit on you but me uh-uh no <laughs> my uh, my husband asked me to eat you know why because my family is coming right <laughs> yeah because I, I i don't want them to come and see you i want <laughs> I, I, as in super thin they might think uh, because when we went abroad, we eat, we really eat a lot. Um, oh my all God. The all the chunks. All kinds of restaurants we visited. We ate all kinds of food, fine dinings, you know. So, but <clears throat> that time she was really thin, and very, very thin. But I don't know why suddenly when she Shop. came to Nigeria for the first time, it's true. she exploded. That's the, that, that's the time that I really got fat. So when I met him, I, I, I have body, I, I'm a bit fat, but I got thin, you know, then even though we're eating lots of chunks, I got thin, and then the first time I came here, oh my god, after I, I got fat, when the first time I came here, it was hard for me to lose weight, it was very, very hard. I went to gym, I went for smart meal, you know, the, the diet meal. I did a lot of things. I mm. drank a lot of um, <laughs> tea. tea the that, Chinese tea. Yeah, diet tea, oh, diet Chinese coffee, tea. Uh, diet even tea. pills, right? Even pills. Mm. I did I did a lot of things to just lose weight, but it was so hard for me. Then finally, I think my weight now is okay, right? My body now is okay. i tell you something. Why? You know, here in Nigeria, you know, overseas, we eat a lot of junk late night so all kinds of uh, bad habits we are practicing it but here in Nigeria you see fresh air so it helps your lungs your kidney to function properly digest your food very well I've not tested junk food I ate junk food only once KFC only one chicken so imagine removing all those junk food that my body accumulated over the years. I began to naturally lose weight. You know? no, I and and I don't that. I don't get weight. I don't add weight easily okay. anymore. Even okay now guys, I think that's all for now. Happy Nigeria have lots of superstitious belief and lots of things that they really believe and for us it sounds weird it sounds so unusual it sounds so funny but here huh, that belief is very very strong for them right yes okay guys so it's getting night again as you can see we already turned on our light and it's getting dark so it's about time for us to go home i don't know if my husband will find me suya tonight let's see <laughs> I will update you. Uh, I'm so hungry for Suya. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you very much and have a good evening. And see you again on our next vlog. So, baby, you do the closing. That's how he do. If he yes. will kiss my hand, he wants me to kiss his hand also. Yes, so love is a beautiful Where thing. Where did you touch? <laughs> I what just, did you touch? My hands are very cool. Okay. Oh, so thank you our audience we love you so much thank you for supporting this uh, channel we'll always upload uh, an interesting videos to you for you to watch may god bless you and always make your way for you in everything you do thank you okay good night bye